Hi there, my name is Darren from Darren's Tech Tutorials and in this short video I'm going to show you how to enable AWS Guard Duty. So we'll just get into it here and you can see I'm logged into my AWS console. So you just need to log into your console and then you need to click on services. I'm just going to search here for Guard Duty and you can see it's here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click get started on Guard Duty here. And I'm going to click to enable Guard Duty. And that's really it. That's all there is that's needed to enable Guard Duty. So you may be wondering, what is Guard Duty going to do? So let me just pull across this other screen that I have here from a separate AWS account. And you can see what Guard Duty is doing. It's looking for um, probes on instances that I have out. It's saying if users are doing things that they shouldn't be doing. And this is all gives you kind of a centralized point within your AWS account to do this. So what you can do added on to this, which I'll do in another video, is you can enable uh, a simple notification service for Guard Duty, where you get alerts and it enables you to react quickly to events that may be happening on your AWS console. So you see, I have it enabled here. So what will happen is Guard Duty will continuously monitor my AWS environment for me now. And if any alerts uh, come in, they'll appear here where you can check. So it's really, really worthwhile to have it enabled. It's good and cheap, um, it's a re really, really good tool. So that's really all you need to do to enable Guard Duty, to search and enable it, and, and away you go. So I do hope this video was useful, and I do thank you for watching.